According to the CDC, childhood obesity has tripled in the last 30 years, leading to many other health problems down the line for America's kids. Eating healthy foods and getting enough exercise are the keys to curbing the problem, of course, and children's health specialist Lynn Saunders has a new guide to help parents learn how to keep their kids on the path to a healthy life. It's called Keeping Kids Fit, and Lynn is here now with some more information and a workout that we're going to demonstrate with a few of our friends that have joined us here. Thanks so, uh, so much for coming in. We have uh, Kate, who will be doing a workout, Aaron and Lola, and they're going to be sitting quietly while we have a little chat, but then they're going to get to work, which is what this is all about, right, Lynn? Yes. Keeping kids fit. Now, the question is, uh, these statistics are, are, are alarming. I mean, we talked about obesity in this country, and you've been doing this for 25 years, trying to resonate with parents. Um, is right now the worst time for childhood obesity in this country? There's a lot of concern because people think this could be the first generation of children whose life expectancy could be shorter than their parents. Wow. So we do need to be concerned about it and we need to take the lead and, and lead by example as parents and get our kids to be active and, and motivate them to go out and play every day. Keeping Kids Fit is the book right. and so tell us a little bit about how that is geared towards kids uh, and parents, right? It's really to both. It's, it's for both but really to remind the parents about things they already know basic easy things that, that, oh yeah, I forgot about that, mm -hmm. and, and now I know to do it, I can make my kids lead a healthy lifestyle. So it's, it's really a, a lifelong plan to get kids to get out and play, eat right, exercise, just do everything according to, to, to what is expected of them to, to lead a normal lifestyle, a healthy lifestyle. Sometimes parents think if their child isn't interested in organized sports, then it's really difficult for them to stay healthy and to be active. Right. But this isn't really necessarily the case. You have some ways that they can actually do yeah, that. Yeah, it, it doesn't have to be just organized sport. Get out and play for an hour, and that's what's recommended. Get one hour of play, and it doesn't mean go to the gym and, and pump iron and, and, <laughs> and get muscles or get on a treadmill and, and, and run at high intensities. It means go out as a family, go for a walk, a bike ride, a hike, inline skating, whatever you to do to keep them active away from technology and, and, and get out and play like it used to be 20, 30 years ago. How many uh, minutes a day should a child get? How long are we talking? As much as you can get, but it's recommended 60 minutes. And it doesn't have to be 60 continuous minutes. It could be 10 here, 20 right. there, 30 there. All right, let's, time to get to work. Right? You guys ready? So Kate, uh, Aaron, and Lola are going to demonstrate some of these activities. So what, what is it uh, that parents need to, to do with their children? Show, well, us, show us some exercises. Okay, you guys ready? Stand up, come on. Okay, get, look at me, ready face? Okay, start doing what I do. All right, so I'm going to do some jumping jacks too. Right. Now, now it's important for parents to participate too Absolutely. while they're doing the exercises. Absolutely. Why is that? The parents are the best role models on the planet, and if they see you doing it, the kids know it's the right thing to do. All right, let's do punching forward. Now, when you're doing this with your, your children, is there a, a certain place? I mean, this could be done anywhere, though. It right? could be done in your house. And, and all the stuff I write in the book is about easy things you could do in your house picking apples. You don't need equipment, you don't have to pay for anything. Right. It can be done in any weather. Get See, up on your toes. Fun. Look, up and it's fun, toes. right? That's it's the fun. whole point. They're smiling. <laughs> All, All right, right, what's another one? Arm what's circles. another one that we can do? Some arm circles. Now, in the book, how is it written for parents to really explain these sort of things to their children and, and make them realize it's so important he, that even this will do some good for them? Every, every exercise is written in very detailed description with pictures and we're going to do push-ups guys so it's easy for them to follow all right ready keep your body straight your head up and we're going to go down slowly and then up slow good how do you get how do you get this idea Lynn to put this book together um, I've been doing this for 25 years with with kids and I just realized from all the conversations with parents on your back all the conversations I've had mm -hmm. and all the questions they ask me I just thought it'd be nice to put it in print and make it easy for them. Right. Okay, and one of you is going to help hold feet, right? Who's going to help hold the feet? Somebody's going to help. Uh, who's going to do the, the sit-ups? Well, which, which Lola? Sister? Lola's going to do the sit-ups. Aaron, you want to hold her feet? You want to do the sit-ups. Do you mind uh, Do you mind holding his feet? Oh, they all want to do the sit-ups. Right, how about, how about we, all, we all try it? Let's all, let's all uh, do... Now, this is an instance. I wonder if somebody doesn't have somebody else and a child wants to just... You try to lock it maybe under a chair or a couch. Right. And then you try to do it that way. But with kids, we try to tell them to keep the hands crossed in the front. It's a little bit safer on the neck and spine. And lay flat on the floor. There it goes. And you go up and down. Do you hold and it up. at all at the top line, or you just? It, it doesn't matter, really. At this point, it's just really. Yeah, just get it up and moving. And up and down. And stop. 
I'm gonna stand up again. It's more about getting them interested in doing the exercises uh -huh. and, not, and getting the proper range of motion and, and just getting motivated to, to want to do this. Give me a thumbs up, was that fun? Now you also, Project ACES, there is a program that gets a lot of kids right. together. Now tell me about that. Um, actually tomorrow, there are going to be millions of kids all over the country and the world who are going to exercise at 10 o'clock in the morning. And the motivation is to know that kids all over the world are doing it with them. Wow, so then everybody like these guys can join together and realize how important it is to yes. exercise. All right, very good. Well, don't forget, uh, thank you so much, by the way, thank Lynn. You. Don't forget you can check out Lynn's new book, Keeping Kids Fit, for more exercise tips.